Do you ever wonder what amazing cycling goodness that we're gonna unbox next? Well, I bet that you wouldn't have guessed this. An entire bike. A bike so fresh, it has only just been released. It's the Orbea Terra, an all-road gravel cyclocross do-it-all machine. Whoa. Whoa. Now, before we get up close and personal with the Terra, I'm going to remind you of GCN Unboxing's Ace Card. This bike, or one in your size and not Dan Lloyd's, is up for grabs. Right, one lucky viewer can be riding a brand new Orbea Terra. I'm going to tell you, you can enter the competition at the end. But for now, what is this all about? Well, this is something of a quiver killer. Now, Orbea don't call it that. They call it an all-road bike, meaning that it's at home on tarmac, narmac, gravel, and also full cyclocross. How does it do all that, though? Well, one of the key points is the geometry. So it has a longer wheelbase, like that, which means that the bike is much more stable on difficult terrain. It's also got longer chain stays and longer fork blades, so you get more tire clearance. You can actually fit 40 C wide tires on there. But then the longer chain stays and the longer fork blades also mean that you get a little bit more compliance, so a bit more comfort. And then, like the wheelbase, you also get more stability. Then you have a lower bottom bracket, which means that the bike really carve turns at speed and also imbue you with a nice bit of confidence. And then the position is a little bit shorter and a little bit higher than on a road bike, meaning that you're a little bit more comfortable and you have a bit more control. However, take one look at the geometry chart and the numbers will quickly show you that this is no sit up and beg bike. There is nothing to stop you getting nice and aggressive and fast should you wish. So that's the DNA of the bike. How else have they made it all road? Well, come a little bit closer, and I can point out that Orbea very thoughtfully provided mudguard bosses on there. And we know from our own carefully conducted scientific research here at GCN that having mudguards or fenders can actually prevent up to 195 millilitres of water from hitting your bum or legs per puddle of doom. In addition to mudguard bosses, you could also put a rack on there, turning the bike into something of a pack horse and fit for adventure. I will admit that pack horse, whilst a romantic image, isn't necessarily a sexy one. So if you want sexy, then I'm gonna tell you that the frame weighs just 1190 grams. And bearing in mind that this is a do-it-all bike, and it's also got a lifetime warranty, like all other Orbeas, in fact, and that suddenly is looking really quite impressive. So how have they done it? Well, that is a good question. It's made up of carbon fiber, or better call it their monocoque performance level, or OMP. And it's comprised of 150 pieces of individually cut pre-preg carbon fiber that are then laid up to make each frame. Now that allows them to tailor really complex shapes so that there is therefore minimal overlap of pieces of carbon fiber and therefore minimal excess. It also allows them to design a really complex frame shape for all the different characteristics that you want. So it can have a really stiff core for power transfer, but yet yeah, really compliant seat stays for comfort. And being freshly designed, it is very much a modern bike. So you've got flat mount disc brakes, 12 mil through axles, and internal cable routing. Given that a complete bike is up for grabs, I expect you probably want to know what wheels and group set that you're going to be riding around on. And I don't blame you. Over the whole Terra range, there's a mix of SRAM and Shimano equipped bikes with either one by or two by respectively. And as you can see from this one, it is a two by. You've got Shimano mechanical Altegra group set on there. You've got an FSA super compact chain set, so that's got 48, 32 tooth chain links on there. You've got Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. You've got Mavic Axiom wheels, shod with, as I mentioned earlier, those really plump 40C wide Schwalbe G1 tires. As you can see, that is a very cool bike. A cool bike and a bike designed for riding and I think for having fun. The best bit though is that you might be able to get your hands on it for free. How are you gonna do it? Well, 
as per usual, in the description below this video, there's a link. Click on that and it's gonna take you through to the competition app, where hopefully you answer the question right and then you actually get picked to win this bike. Right then, better get that packed up. Hmm. Something else in there. Can't, I'm not sure I'm gonna reach that actually. Hang on a minute, I'm going in. I'm going in. Ah. Ah. It's like a box of stuff. Hey, what's going on? Uh, right, in the meantime, whilst I try and work this out, uh, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's completely free. Just click on the globe and then if you, uh, what's going on if you want more content then i highly recommend watching gravel bike versus road bike what can a gravel bike do that a road bike can't seriously what are you doing about that? okay uh, or to see a relatively new video about which is the best type of bike for city riding click just up there seriously what are you doing i, I can't get out this is really weird can you get out no